Hello friends, this is Maria. I enjoy homemaking, cooking, baking and all things homesteading. I hope you enjoy your time hanging out with me. Today we're making a very simple yet basic recipe to make corn tortillas. These soft and fresh tortillas are so delicious, filling and gluten free. Just to make fish tacos, which you will see in the next video. The kids absolutely love this recipe and I have very picky eaters, let me tell you. All we need is two cups of maseca or corn flour, two cups of warm water and two tablespoons of salt. This recipe makes about 14 tortillas. So if you want to make more and put them in the freezer and heat some every time you want to have corn tortillas you can double triple or quadruple this recipe we mix the ingredients to make a soft dough don't be afra afraid to add more water if you feel the need to this dough needs to be well hydrated otherwise you're going to end up with uh, very dry corn tortillas that are more on the tostada side here we are looking for a dough that we can shape easily and the a dough that doesn't break so it has to be very well hydrated To shape the dough into balls, I used a scale. So I'm going to use a scale to make sure the balls are more or less 50 to 60 grams each to maintain a uniform shape of tortillas. So I'm going to make the balls and put them on a baking sheet and cover them with a towel. Since I do not have a tortilla press, I'm going to improvise and use what I have. I saw this trick somewhere, I just can't remember uh, where exactly. So cut a plastic bag, just like this, place the dough ball inside, press down with the cutting board to make a circle. And voila! I suggest you use some oil on your hands and on the dough ball surface because it tends to stick to the plastic. Uh, I may use baking parchment next time, but in any case, the first one or two tortillas are going to look funny. Then it's going to get better. No matter how many times I made this uh, tortilla, I always mess up the first two, so don't worry about it. To cook the tortillas, I have here a hot cast iron f um, flat pan. I will cook the tortillas for one minute on each side. Then place the tortillas, the cooked ones, between two tea towels to keep them soft. See how beautiful they are? You can make a bigger quantity and save them in the freezer too. Now it's your turn to try this recipe and share your results with me. See you in the next video where we will make fish tacos that just became a staple in our home. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Happy cooking!